good architecture opens up possibilities, makes life richer and deeper. West Coast Modernism is a bit more approachable. It's not afraid to have some sand tracked in from the beach. A modernist house is about expanding into the environment. It's a different type of living. A good piece of architecture is a habitable work of art. The best of them create this sensation where you feel like, my God, this is amazing. I want to live here, I want to stay here, I don't want to leave. You're, you're so much closer to the reality of, of what the world's about. It was significant because it was a totally different architecture. We hadn't seen buildings like this. It had some momentum and then it sort of died. The general public was a little cautious about these new objects that came onto the scene. I don't know how many times I heard it's a teardown, Pratt. You can't, you can't save it. What saved the remains of modern architecture in the West Coast was sort of like the wallpaper magazine revival that happened in the 90s. There was all this talk about the democratization of design and that design was going to change the world and people got really excited about it. There are houses out there um, that are really, really exciting and keep the spirit going. There's a linking up of generations. There's this symbiotic conversation happening. I think one of the things about modernism is whatever the materials are and the availabilities of materials and the techniques of the day are the ones to embrace. It's not really about keeping it perfect. It's about letting life happen in it. I think everybody appreciates that sense when you're standing in something that is um, beautiful and well thought out. Your life is better for that moment.